This is the twisted double crochet pattern that we'll be using in the scarf found at simpleandsensational.com. To make that pattern, we're going to start out with our chain stitch, but you'll notice at the, at the edge of the scarf, we're, we have the chain edge on both sides, which means we're not going to work around it to finish it off with any special edging. We're just going to use the edging as we can crochet, which means we're going to work our single crochet around this first row, but we're going to work it through the back loop. When we work it through the back loop, we'll end up with this nice chain edge, so both sides of the scarf will already have it complete. So to begin our single crochet, we're going to work in the second, second chain or stitch from the hook, and we're going to go through that back loop. And when you do your chain, make sure you do it nice and loosely, otherwise it's going to be difficult to get through this back loop. Yarn over, pull it through, yarn over, pull it through the two loops, and you have your first single crochet. And we're going to work along the back edge here, yarn over, well not yarn over, yet yeah, we're going to go through that back loop, yarn over, pull it through, yarn over through the two loops, and we've got our single crochet. So I'm going to work down this row, that single crochet going through that back loop, yarn over, pull it through, Yarn over, pull through the two loops on the hook. I'm going to keep on working down this back edge. When you're doing the scarf, of course, it's very long, so you have to make sure you do not twist this chain as you're working down. Be sure you don't twist it around, that you keep it straight so you're working along this back edge. Complete your chain, and I'm going to go through this last one, back loop, yarn over, pull through, and through the two loops, and you have this very nice basic chain single crochet that's going to be the foundation for working your next pattern. It's going to alternate rows. And you can see again that it has that nice edge on it. So for this next row, it's going to be a double crochet. So we're going to chain three, and this will be the double crochet on the edge. And we're going to turn, and we're going to skip that first single crochet, because we have the double crochet or the chain three in it. That will be the edge. And now we're going to skip the second single crochet, and we're going to make a double crochet in the third single crochet. And the double crochet is yarn over, go through the top two loops of the single crochet, yarn over, pull it through. You have your three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. Now we're going to make th two more double crochets, so that's yarn over, Go through the next, the top two loops of that next single crochet, yarn over, pull it through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two, and we're going to make this third. And now we have our three single crochets, and we have the one single crochet chain. I should say we have the three double crochets, and now we have that one single crochet space left. We're going to go back and make a double crochet in it. So we're going to yarn over, we're going to go back into those top two loops, come around the back, grab your yarn, pull it through, and pull it up. So you have your three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull it through two, yarn over, pull it through two. So you've made a double crochet but you've twisted it around those three double crochets, so we've got the twist in the front and the twist in the back. So we're going to go ahead, now we've used that space, we're going to skip the next single crochet space, and we're going to go ahead 
and make our double crochets, three of them, again in the row. So this is what the pattern is going to be like, three double crochets after skipping the one single crochet space. And after you've made those three, you're going to go back into that space that was left, the single crochet you skipped. You do your yarn over, go back into that single crochet, grab from behind another yarn over and pull it all up across those three single I mean three double crochets. And then you just do your regular double crochet. And again, you have that nice wrap around those three from the front and the back. To finish off the row, we're just going to go into the last single crochet. Don't skip one because we've completed the pattern. And we're going into that last single crochet, the top two loops, and making yarn over and making our final double crochet. So we have now finished that row and we have the chain three in the beginning that will be the same as our single cro I mean as our double crochet. We've done our pattern of the wrap around double crochet or the twisted double crochet. And then at the end we have our last double crochet that makes the edge. To do the next row we're going to do another row of single crochet. So we chain one to turn and we're going to work then across and I'm putting a single crochet in that first space and the way reason I'm doing it is so you have a nice chain to work into and I'm working a single crochet all the way across the row going through those top two loops pulling it up Again, working through those top two loops and making your single crochet. And when you get to the end, you'll be ready to do your twisted double crochet pattern across. One thing is to make sure you always keep the number of stitches even. And I'm going to go through that last double crochet or chain three, whichever is at your end, and I'm going to pull up to make sure I keep it even by having the same number of stitches across. And when I work across again, I'm going to turn. I'll be starting my twisted. So I turn with my double crochet, chain three, and begin working the pattern across. Now at the edge of the scarf, because you're working the long way up and down, you'll have a nice finish on each long edge of the scarf, but on the short edge, I personally am just going to leave it that way, but you might want to add some uh, tassels in these open spaces. But even as it is, I think it has a nice edge to it. If you would like this free pattern, for this scarf, just go to simpleandsensational.com. That's free patterns at simpleandsensational.com.